Hi, here are two Stirling engines. Do they need flywheels? They've got them on at the moment, but let's take one off the small one and see what happens. Excellent. Right, now if you stop it and start it. Oh, that went really well. And then again, that's really easy to start, isn't it? Yes, there is that. Yeah, yeah. and again, magic. Okay, you're not really on the flame, that's it. That's better. Excellent. That's it. Yeah. And now let's take the larger one and see whether it's the same for it as well. That's excellent. You can stop it and start it. Yeah, and again. Now, can you rotate it so I can see there's just a shaft and no flywheel? So, these two Stirling engines don't need a flywheel. And perhaps this is true of many Stirling engines. When you compare it with a four-stroke engine, certainly a diesel is not going to run without a flywheel. Three quarters of the time a four-stroke engine is being driven and kept moving by the flywheel momentum. And the Stirling engine doesn't seem to need this.